Hey guys. All right. I'm really excited to show this look to you because I was playing with it and I think it's one of my new favorites, which I say about like every makeup look I do, which is why I think I'll go for like a year and not do it again. And then I'll see the picture and I'll be like, I should really do, why didn't I do that more than once? I should do that again. <laughs> so I'm really excited for this one. And I really love the little pop of gold. I didn't even think about what I was gonna do to keep my hair out of the way while I do this. So we'll just sweep it this way and hope it stays. Um, I'm gonna get started with my go-to. I'm sure you already know. Beach Blonde Cream Eyeshadow. Hey Erica, hey Brianna. And I'm gonna put this all over my lid. All the way up to my brow. Just like that. Then we're gonna get into the fun stuff. So, I'm gonna start with my um, eye crease brush. So it's a little bit angled like this. And I'm gonna use Merlot, which is this Merlot-y color. <laughs> it's kind of like maroon-y. Um, and I am going to get the angle that I want. So I'm actually gonna do a little bit on my bottom lash line and come off of that out to the side here. And then I'm going to kind of draw where I want that corner to be. Just like that. Um, I am going to bring it in my crease all the way to about here. Blend it upwards a little bit. And then I'm also going to place it kind of at an angle like this. Basically just lining where I want everything and then I'm going to use my blending brush to really lay the color in there. So now that I have that done, I'm going to switch to my all over color brush. Make sure it doesn't have anything else on it so it's a little bit fluffier like this. I'm going to get some more of that Merlot color and I'm going to come in and really darken it and blend it. Hey Lexi! Okay, and then I'm going to get a little bit of Cinnabar. So that's this um, brown one right here. I'm gonna do that right along the edge of where I'm blending, just to kind of warm it just a little bit. And then I'm gonna use Biscotti. Sorry, my nose is running. I'm going to use Biscotti, which is this matte creamy color that's about the color of my skin tone, maybe a tiny bit lighter. I'm going to use that up to the brow. Just to blend all my edges. I'm going to get a little bit more Cinnabar. Put that right in here. And a little bit more Merlot. Just blend it all real good. Okay, now we're gonna get Emerald Noir, which is this like dark greeny color down here. I'm gonna put that all over in this empty space. So I am going into my inner corner, but I'm not like pressing it in. <laughs> I like have always dreamed of having long gorgeous hair and my hair just doesn't want to be that way and I finally gave up and gave into the short and it's been really fun and I get way more compliments on it short. I kind of like it. My stylist knew what she was talking about. Okay so I have that layered on there. Now I'm going to get a little bit of this radiant blue which is this really bright blue color. 
I'm gonna do that over top of it. And it's gonna change the color just a little bit, but I wanted more of a bold color, not like that dark emeraldy neutrally color. So that's why I did that. And then I'm gonna do a little bit more emerald noir over top of it and blend it like that. And then I'm actually gonna get a little bit of, I totally messaged someone, I forgot who it was. I messaged them what colors I used, I forgot to tell them this one. But I'm gonna do Sweet Plum. So this purpley color over here, I'm actually gonna use that and blend it over top of the purple I already did because it's just gonna brighten up that purple and give it a little shimmer and really make it look a little bit more bold than it did, which I want the bold. So, and I'm gonna do, add a little bit of that up in here Just like that. Oh, my baby's crying. Okay, so there is that. Then on the bottom, we're gonna blend that um, Merlot and a little bit of the Sweet Plum. And we're gonna come in about two thirds of the way on the bottom lash line and blend that outward into what we already kind of did. And then we're gonna get that Emerald Noir, a little bit of the blue, mix it, put that in here. Do a little bit of the Emerald, got a little too much blue on that first time around. Here we go. Okay, now we've smoked up the eyes. Isn't that pretty? I like, really love that. Now, I'm gonna put that little bit of gold on there. So this is um, discontinued. You can get awesome liquid liners and stuff at like Ulta and Sephora. Um, if you do that, like Mary Kay doesn't have the fun colored liquid liners right now. Um, so I really like the Urban Decay has some really fun ones that you can use that are really easy. Um, so this was a Mary Kay at play. It was called Gold Metal and it's a fun liquid liner. So that's what I'm gonna use for that little little gold line. So basically, you just wanna have something that you can do a good precision with. And you're gonna come right along the edge of where your eyeshadows are kind of switching, like right in that crease like that. Just out to about where you see the um, emerald fading off. You want to let it dry all the way before you like close your eyes. So you have to let that dry. While I do that, I'll just keep looking down and find my brush. So then we're going to do um, black winged liner. I like to use our gel, so I use this brush. It's on our um, brow and whatever, whatever it's called. Eyebrow eyeliner brush. Um, and then it's a pot, which is like my favorite because I feel like you get so much precision and it stays on forever for me, which is great. Um, so I always come out and get my line. So the trick to winged liner, if you've never done it, is if you follow your waterline out, like your bottom waterline out off the edge, that's like the angle that you're gonna want for it to like look really crisp and clean and awesome. Um, and then I'll come in, I'm bad and I stretch my eyelid like you're not supposed to. I just haven't mastered doing it without doing that. Oh my gosh, my eyes watering. I just threw some stuff in the crock pot and I chopped onions and I'm like getting the after effects right now, I feel like. <laughs> um, what lip am I wearing? So I'm actually wearing the lip lacquers. So the hol the from the um, holiday line, I did plum and then I put rose over top of it. And then I set it. That's my lip color, which I really, really like. Oh, I didn't have enough on my brush. I'm just darkening it. Then I'll finish up my finishing touches so you can finish seeing what I'm doing to my eye. 
I had to let my gold dry anyways, so I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone here. Okay. I hate it when you get one eye, like, absolutely perfect. And then the other eye isn't. But my false lashes are going to hide it a little bit, so it's okay. So, there's that. Isn't that fun? And then we're going to take the smudger brush is that what's still called yeah so my eye smudger brush it looks like this and I'm going to get um, crystalline which is this white shimmer color right here I'm gonna get the crystalline I'm gonna pack it into my inner corner and then blend it outwards just a little bit If you want to really make it pop, you can wet your brush a little. So, there's that. And then all you have to do is glue on your eyelashes if you don't have eyelashes like me. Oh, I almost forgot my other thing that I thought was super fun. So if you'll notice, I actually have gold on my bottom waterline on this side. Um, so it's really fun because it kind of pops with the gold in my crease. Um, hey Laura, hey Natalie. Um, so you can use any gold eyeliner. I'm using the Mary Kay one. Um, oops, that's the wrong one, that one's pink. I need gold. Um, it's also from the Mary Kay at Play line. So it's discontinued. So if you have it, now you can use it. Oh, there we go. But it's like this eyeshadow eyeliner pen. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Michelle. And I am going to do that on my waterline, like all the way in as far as I can. And it gives this really pretty, like, look at that gold pop going on. And I just love it. Like, it's just so pretty. Um, sorry, I got distracted. Touch up right here. And then I'll just do mascara on my um, top and bottom lashes because I have blonde eyelashes. So I will throw um, false lashes on once I get off with you guys. But if you have awesome eyelashes or that's just not your thing, then just throw some mascara on just to darken my blonde lashes. And then I'm going to put it on the bottom too. And then just do, you know, cheeks and lips and you're good to go. But that is my fun holiday look. Hope you like it. If you try it, tag me or send it to me. I ha I've had people messaging me like pictures of them trying makeup looks and it's been so, so fun. Eye popping, thank you. And my holiday trivia question for the day is in what movie, it's one of my husband's favorites, is there a superhero action figure that a dad has to track down? And what is the name of that action figure? So if you can tell the movie and the name, you get bonus points for some of my giveaways once my 12 looks of Christmas is over. So if you know what movie I'm talking about, it's really good. And that is it. So I will see you guys tomorrow for another fun look.